I went 17 months with no sex. Mm. 17 months. Interesting. I said, I'm done because that was my obsession. There was a, a party that would happen in Vegas. It was called, it was called Pimps and Hoes. Mm-hmm. 17,000 people That's would the show name up. of the party? You can Google it. You'll see it. it was the <laughs> biggest party that would put in Vegas. I didn't grow up in an environment where we're going to church and all this other stuff. That came at 25 and I became born again. But up until then, I'm the guy that's going to Vegas every other weekend. Mm. I'm the guy that in the army is drinking a small bottle of tequila every weekend with my friends mm. on the way to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm that guy. I'm the guy that goes to Panama City to party at Club La Vila and mm. Spinnakers. I'm the, I went to Dublin's. I went to, you know, uh, 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 Miyagi's, Palace, you know, Arena. I can give you Century Club, Garden of Eden. This is mm. Key Club. This is this, is this guy. Yeah. I was that guy that's partying constantly, trying to go to new markets. And then one day, I meet a guy that, he said three years he went without sex, and he became a millionaire. I'm like, damn, that's a long time. Holy freaking, and I remember one day, I'm with my girl. Three years. I'm with my girl, she's in, she's in Hollywood, she's an actress, she's beautiful. She does very well for herself right now. How She dresses all the major names, Beyonce, Lady Gaga. Mm. She runs one of the biggest PR firms in Hollywood, dresses all these girls. Anyways, we're together, we're in the car, expedition. I says, I want to tell you something here. What's that? We've been together for two and a half years. I want to know if we should get married or not, because we're at that phase. Mm-hmm. And she says, uh, what are you trying to say? I said, look, I love when we have sex. It's freaking awesome. I have a lot of fun with you. But I want us to go without it for a month to see what happens, to see if this relationship is deeper than just what we're doing in the backseat of this expedition. <laughs> and she says, you sure? I said, yeah. She says, is there another girl in your life? I said, I promise I got no, I said, she says, no, I know there's, I said, I'm telling you, I don't have another girl. It's mm-hmm. you. But let's go one month. So it's very weird. So I'm talking to her outside of her apartment. She says, you mean to tell me you want me to go inside right now? I said, yeah. She goes inside. Next day, it's Saturday, I pick her up, we go to movies. End up the movies, 11.15. We're parked in, in uh, Van Nuys. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do? I got to drop you off. This is two days, no sex, at the peak testosterone level. I'm on fire right now. <laughs> you got 28 days left. She comes the next week, birthday suit, apartment, no sex. A week later, we're sitting in the car. We don't have anything to talk about. Mm. We have nothing to talk about. Then I told her, I said, we got to go to church. She said, I'm not going to church. What's happened to you? I said, dude, I said, nothing's happened to me. I just don't think if you and I are going to get married, we can make it work. We need a manual. We need something to help us out. No, I'm not going to church. Something's going on with you. She went to church one time. She thought it was very weird. I thought it was very weird. That church was a weird church. <laughs> and then, anyways, long story short, a couple of weeks later, she's like, this is not working out. And we broke up. Okay, and the relationship was done. Very painful, by the way. When that happened. So we loved each other, but it was done. She moved on. Uh, we moved on, and you know, later on, we, my wife and her are friends. They'll talk. It's a very interesting relation. But the point is this. The point is, like, I wanted substance. And I wanted to find out what was my motivator. When I did that with the girl, and I went 17 months, during that 17 months, if you want to find the level of motivation that I got, I was on fire with work and dreams. I wanted my dad to work. I was sick and tired of him working at this 99 cent store in Inglewood, California. I wanted my sister to go on her honeymoon. I wanted my dad to go to Hawaii. I wanted me to have a life, man. I wanted to go out there and win. I wanted to make the Medivit family proud. And 17 months later, I started making the kind of money I've never made before. And then during that 17 months, I realized how much I can control my obsession and habits because I have an obsessive personality. Mm. That gave me confidence to know I can channel that obsession into other areas of my life. It's crazy when I tell these types of stories, people are like, yeah, what about this? What about that? Um, if you talk to this girl and she told you the story, she'd probably give you more detail, details of this and she would say it was so weird when we were going through it. I can That's exactly what I did. And you know, the rest is history. By the way, I didn't tell you it was easy. Yeah. I don't tell you I walk on water. I got a lot of skeletons. I got vices just like everybody else. I have flaws. I have insecurities. I have fears just like everybody else. But I'm 44, man. When I look at my hands like this, I look young like this. I look 44 at this side of my hand. This side doesn't (laughs) lie to you. This side lies to you. You know, 44 is different than 24, different than 34. And... 
Life's been very interesting so far. So I'm excited about the next, hopefully, 44 years. 